Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Today I want to show you how to import a um, DVG file into Dialogues and then defining the building, um, drawing each um, space inside of the building and as well establishing uh, the lighting parameter for each space of, of the building as well as adding furniture and then the last stage um, when all the design is uh, related, uh, um, you can uh, you can add uh, finally the the luminaire and start the lighting simulation. So the first step is you click on the import plan or IFC, and then pops up the following window. Um, you should know where it's um, your DVG file stored. After you find it, you just um, click on it and now you wait a couple of minutes or seconds uh, just to, to load the DVG file. As you can see it already in the image uh, on the screen, I have it already imported. The first step is to establish the origin and rotation. So configuration of the plan. Uh, I will choose the following corner for my drawing. And then you need second step, you need to select the units. You, I know that my drawing is millimeters. And then you just click on the finish button. In addition, you can just use the tape measure, for example, um, a window just to see that you have selected the correct unit measurement. So you see it's a, the length of the window is two meter, which is okay. So then, <coughs> you can start uh, drawing the, the building. So secondly, we go on the on the site and here we have the first, uh, let's say operation. So draw a new building. And then you just, I go for corner to corner. I just click it here. In this case, it's quite easy because it's a rectangular um, shape of this building. So I just go like this. Then you go on the other corner and I ended up in this part. And you need to, if your building, for example, it's higher than three meters, you need to establish it. If not, if it's just three meter, you just close it. And then first step is done. You have the, the building configured, so you, you see it also here in the 3D. And now we go on the 2D viewpoint. So we have the building. Next step, we will move to uh, draw new room. So we now after we have the building, we just go, for example, in this place, I will just click on the control of the, of the new room. So you take each corner of the room, you go side by side and yeah. So this is the room. You have a wall thickness, you can change it as well. I will just let it by default 0.2. And now after you finish this operation, you have the room as well. And now how it looks, you see each room which already you define, you'll have a gap in the, let's say in the whole building. So. We have the room and if you want just to see the room you just click on this and you have the room which we just already draw let's make another one you change on the story one and you go once again draw a new room you see the one which is done it's already um patched by let's say a, a dark green and i will do let's do the small office this one just do something different so i'll go on this corner this side bang the same wall thickness i've let it as previously and now we have two rooms so as again as you can see it here as previously shown now we have the second gap so these two rooms are already established and here you see room one which is the top and this is room two which is the second one, one mo moving back on the story in 2d and yeah 
and if you want again to draw a new room you just click on the button and you start all over again um, next you you can position for example we have a window for the room uh, on the what we have uh, designed we have it here I will say I'll move it one step forward um, related to the the two rooms which we have already drawn because I want to name it first of all so we, instead of room one we just put office one for example and the second one we'll put office two and now we have the two the two buildings and also we can move it like here and we should see one by one or we let it in this case so we made assessment of the two rooms and now as i said we will go back on the on the windows we we can just drag and drop let's see if it's on the story level yeah we we'll place it here now you need to scale it so this is the second operation i would say so and i will show you how it looks already so we have the window over there so this is i would say a step when you establish the furniture um so i'll do the same in this case we have it here we need to scale it as well so after you are yeah you finish drawing the, the space uh, and make the assessment of the zone i would say we need we can add already the furniture uh, for each um, space which we have uh, established and now we just put the, the doors because we didn't finish here the the corridor you see that it's, it's showing a very very big door but we can rotate it let's see if i can do that to place it on yeah it's not working actually so i would just let we need to place it on the on the inside and then it will 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 take it if it's yeah it's not really i want 90 degrees here let's see no. it should be open on on the ins inside otherwise will not yeah will not work because i need to finish the the corridor first and after that for example yeah let's let's do the corridor and i will say just a little bit just to show the example what i mean i'll just draw it until here just make it short and we have also as well the corridor and now i'll just move back again to the door it happens when yeah that the other space is not um, the space near your is not configured so then you can have this problem so let's see the the door as i said the door is open to the corridor so that's that was the problem but now that we made a small corridor here it's everything looks okay um, we can have this problem as well and if you have it now you know how to to solve it so after we finish the we put the furniture let's say the doors and the windows then we can move also to place uh, to find the furniture i will say on the, on the furniture side we will go on this and here we have a lot of uh, yeah furniture which we can use i just choose by default this table for example and then you can just scale it according with your your needs that you have it or the furniture actually which you have it in place and then you just yeah or you, you you can just scale it on this side and just make one or you can just copy paste so yeah it will look like something like this you can also make one big table but usually therefore you will not find this for but this is just an example 
I will not um, use too much <coughs> time on on creating the furniture. I just want to give you an example how you can use it. Um, you can put also a you know, laptop, for example, on each on each table, on each desk. I think it's put it on the floor, so you need to take care about also the height. So I will say 0 0.9 if the table is 0 0.8 to be on the top of the table. So yeah, like this. And then let's choose also some chairs for the for the space. Yeah, the other way around. So this is the the other chair. And if you want also some card drops, let's see if we find. For example, this one, I just place it near the wall. Let's rotate it like this and move it this corner and then we can scale it until the, the other side. Yep, so now let's see how it looks. So in this way, by, by going on on selecting the, the furniture by this icon, which is representing, you can just add all the items that you need for that space. I hope that is clear by now. I will move forward uh, on the next step, which I think is very important. So after you, let's say, if you finalize all the furniture um, related to your uh, space, I would say we move back on the, on the application. So here, it's a very important step on related to the space and the application. By default, uh, Dialux is um, preparing as a, an office, but here you have more options. As you'll not work only for the, for, let's say, for the for the office application, then you can choose something else. This is by default, and you'll see the visual task is 500 clocks. Then you have surrounding, backgrounding, uniformity, which is Oppo 6, and of course you need to have Luminous, which have an EGR less than 19 for office application. But you can have also as well school, um, uh, retail, um, maybe cinema, theater, whatever application or design are you working for, you need to, to choose the following or hospital, nursery, whatever. For example, if I took a control, um, control plan, control rooms here, you see for example, the visual test is changing to 200. So this is a, a very important. So after you establish this, you see it's memora it's let's say saved based on the sp on the space and then application that you have and then the next next step is you go to the light and here you choose the the light f lighting fixtures which you want to to use for uh, the st that space so that's all for for the time being um, if you have any question, please um, let your comment um, below this video. Uh, if you like videos, please give a like, subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you did not do it yet, please do that. It will help me um, promoting my channel and as well the, 